the multi-find change plugin really enhances what you can do with find change in InDesign. Now InDesign natively has its find change command and with that we can actually run one particular find change query at a time on some text, on a document, on objects and what have you and execute that. However, when we look at examples such as a text document that we might have imported, quite often we want to run a series of find changes one after the other until we've got this document nicely cleaned up so we can start to really focus on the layout. For instance, we've got this document here, double paragraph returns, double hyphens instead of m dashes, spaces, multiple spaces at the end of a sentence, trailing spaces and so on. So there's a lot of stuff that we want to do in the cleanup on this document. And multi-find change really adds a humongous amount of functionality in that we can apply multiple find change queries in one hit to an entire document, to an entire story and what have you. So how does this work? Well, all of the default queries that come installed with InDesign we can access here on the right hand side. So these actually mimic or actually are identical to the categories that you have in the InDesign find change dialog box and there's a series of defaults that are installed with InDesign. I can now build a query set by clicking add set and double clicking the set I can name it. We'll call this text cleanup. And what I'm going to do is add a series of queries to that that I would very likely be able to be, be using that I would likely be using when I'm going to clean up text documents that I bring in. So for instance I want to click and drag this query into this set and change multiple returns into a single return. I want to get rid of trailing spaces. I want to get rid of multiple spaces and turn them into a single space. I can immediately put this in place as well and reshuffle these and change the order of them. And I have one additional query here from a different category which is the double dash to M dash change. So I've now got a series of these queries included in a single set. So I can reshuffle that and I can now execute all of these queries in one hit and either apply these to the documents, to the selected story, to a selection, very similar to what you see in InDesign's find change dialog box. So let's do this to the entire document. We can overwrite some of the query options. You might have some additional options enabled, areas that you want to search in in particular. You might have a requirement to search and include footnotes or master pages and so on. I'm going to leave everything as default here and just hit change all. And it's now going to run all of those four queries and apply 244 changes. That's pretty cool all fixed, all cleaned up. And now I change my mind. Now if I did this in InDesign I would need to go through a series of undos for each query, find change query that I've run. But in this case I can just control Z on a PC or Apple Z on the Mac to undo all of this and get back to what the document looked like originally. Enabling the undo by query will actually do this on a step by step basis. All right, so you might want to share this text cleanup query set with one of your colleagues who's also got multi-find change installed so that they don't have to recreate that set. How do you do that? Well, you select the set and you export it. This generates a little XML file that you can quite easily email or send to someone and they can then import that in their copy of multi-find change. There it is, very simple. Now I've created another find change query set that I've pre-prepared to help us clean up this open house listing. This might be a daily or weekly listing that real estate agent provides to you with inconsistent naming, for instance here for street. Inconsistency in how the phone numbers are formatted. Inconsistency in how the times are formatted and so on. So someone's already created a query set full of custom made queries that were saved in InDesign and included those in a set. I'm going to import that set. There it is, open house, click open 
and we've now got this set here. Now we'll notice that there's a series of queries there and these are automatically added to the grep category because they happen to be grep find change queries. I can you know have a look at one of these and load them into the find change dialog box if I want to by clicking this FC button. I can also do that right here from the query set itself and it will actually launch that here. You'll see that that's launched in the grep component here. And you can actually distinguish, let me just launch this again, you can actually distinguish default queries from customized queries that are added later. So they're all added here in these query lists as well in Find Change. And you can, you can distinguish these differences by looking at the icon. So the dark, darker icon is the defaults and these are the ones that have been customized and made up. Alright, so let's run this query set on this document and just hit change all. And look at that, beautifully done. All the times are formatted consistently, the phone numbers are formatted consistently, and so on. Okay, please excuse that one tab there, I missed that. All done. Let me delete this set and show you one other way of bringing in a query set. Now we can bring a query set as a bring in a query set as a shared set and that works very similar to importing a set. I'm going to use that same set as before but the only thing that's really different is a the little icon changes and b you can't load these individual queries in fine change. So it's really locked down so that you can't edit it. But the functionality of the set itself is exactly the same as a set that you've imported. So there's just that additional option there. All right, so there you have it, an introduction to multi-fine change. If you do a lot of this type of stuff where you have a, a lot of little components to clean up in a document and you find yourself applying fine change command over and over with different settings, then consider purchasing this plugin because it's it's really, really very useful. It's going to save you a tremendous amount of time and a lot of clicking. A little bit of preparation in setting up the sets, but once you've done that, you can reuse them over and over. So enjoy!